Microbiology for Barber written part of State Board exam. Microbiology is a branch of science that studies organisms known as microbes or microorganisms that are too small to be seen with a naked eye. Microorganisms exist everywhere, are generally classified as microbes, viruses, fungi, protozoa, or algae, exist in a variety of shapes and sizes, are not seen with naked eye. Bacteriology is study of microorganisms. Bacteria is a one-celled microorganism that exists everywhere on the skin, in the water and air, and decayed matter like bodily secretions. Types of bacteria are non-pathogenic and pathogenic. Non-pathogenic bacteria are harmless bacteria, beneficial for soil fertilization, decomposing of dead matter, fighting infection and promoting immunity for human body. Examples of non-pathogenic bacteria are probiotics present in yogurt like acidophilus or lactobacillus that help the digestive tract and elimination of bad bacteria from the body, yeast that helps raise the dough of the bread and use for baking. Saprophytes are harmless bacterial that decomposes dead matter preventing them to produce disease. Pathogenic bacteria are harmful bacteria, disease-causing, outnumbered by the non-pathogenic bacteria, but are dangerous because they are harmful for living organisms. Classification of pathogenic bacteria are Cocci, Bacilli, and Spirilla. Cocci are round-shaped bacteria classified as follows, Staphylococci, Streptococci, Diplococci. Staphylococci bacteria are most common pus-forming microorganisms that grow in clusters or bunches like abscesses, pimples, boils, pustules, and staph infections such as MRSA, mesicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Streptococci bacteria are pus-forming organisms that grow in chains and cause infections such as strep throat, tonsillitis, lung and throat diseases. Diplococci bacteria grow in pairs and cause pneumonia and gonorrhea. Bacilli bacteria are short, rod-shaped organisms that produce diseases such as tetanus, lockjaw, typhoid fever, tuberculosis, and diphtheria. Sporilla are spiral or corkscrew-shaped organisms that are responsible for diseases like syphilis, bacteria named Trypanema pallidum, or Lyme disease, Borrelia burgdorferi. Movement of bacteria, also referred as motility, movement of bacteria. Bacterial moves around with the help of hair-like projections called cilia and flagella. Bacterial growth and reproduction. There are two phases, active or vegetative stage and spore-forming or inactive stage. Active or vegetative stage, bacteria reproduces by direct division called mitosis. The process is so fast that within 12-hour period, 16 million microbes can be created by a single bacterium. That is why barbers strictly have to follow the sanitation disinfection practices. Bacteria can grow and reproduce in the presence of following favorable conditions. Water, air, food, proper temperature, elimination of waste products. Inactive or sperm-forming stage once the favorable conditions are compromised, bacteria can become stationary or lie dormant or can form a protective spore around it and stop reproducing until the conditions become favorable again. 
Examples: anthrax or tetanus bacilli bacteria. Bacterial infections are local infection or general infection. Local infection. Pimples, scrapes, cuts are examples of local infection. Lesions containing pus that are localized created by a coxibacteria that do not have a hair-like projection or a tail to help them move rapidly would produce local infection. General infection happens when the bacteria like bacilli or spirilla move around and they use a tail or hair-like projection like flagella or cilia and travel through the bloodstream carrying the bacterial and their toxins to all parts of the body. Blood poisoning or syphilis are examples of general infection. Immunity is the ability of the body to fight infection by resisting invasion of bacteria and destroying bacteria once they have entered the body. The two types of immunity are natural immunity and acquired immunity. Natural immunity is a natural resistance to disease that is partially inherited or partially developed through hygienic living. Acquired immunity is developed after the body has overcome a disease or through inoculations such as vaccination. A human disease carrier, a person who is immune to the disease but could carry the germs and will transfer the virus or bacteria from person to person without getting sick himself or herself. Parasites are plant or animal organisms that live on another living organism, drawing their nourishment from the host organism without giving anything in return. Plant parasites, also called fungi, can produce contagious skin diseases such as ringworm or favus. Examples of fungi are molds, mildews, rasts, and yeasts, nail fungus. Animal parasites are responsible for contagious diseases and conditions. H mites, also known as scabies, can burrow under the skin, causing itching and inflammation. Pediculosis is the technical name for head or body louse. Should not be treated in the salon or barber shop. The client should be referred to a physician. Contagious or communicable is when a disease spreads from, from one person to another by contact. Barbers need to be aware of those chief sources of contagions, unclean hands or implements, open sores, pus, oral or nasal discharges, shared use of drinking cups and towels. Blood-borne pathogens are disease-producing bacteria or viruses that are carried through the blood or body fluids, such as hepatitis and HIV. They might enter the body through accidental cuts, exchange of bodily fluids. Continuous use of implements without disinfecting or shaving client's face or neck with used razor could transfer blood-borne pathogens from client to client with cuts and abrasions. The pathogens would enter the body through a break in the skin such as a cut, pimple or scratch, the mouth, contaminated food or water, the nose, breathing. The eyes, ears, unprotected sex. The body will fight infections with unbroken skin, body secretions such as perspiration, digestive juices, white blood cells which destroy bacteria, antitoxins, and immunity. Aseptic means free of disease causing germs and microbes. Barbers need to follow sanitation and disinfection procedures to keep an aseptic environment in barber shops. Sepsis is the poison state of body caused by the absorption of pathogenic microorganisms and their byproducts into the bloodstream. Viruses are submicrobial structures 
small enough to infect other bacteria and plants and will pass through a porcelain filter. This is why they're called filterable viruses. Viruses capable to infect all plants and animals cause common colds, respiratory and gastrointestinal infections, influenza, measles, mumps, chickenpox, smallpox, rabies, yellow fever, hepatitis, polio and AIDS. Hepatitis is a disease of inflammation of liver present in all body fluids. Transmits disease from person to person easier than HIV virus. Types of hepatitis. Hepatitis A virus HAV. Hepatitis B virus HBV. Hepatitis C virus HCV. Hepatitis D virus HDV. Hepatitis E virus HEV. Hepatitis A HAV is a flu-like illness lasting about three weeks. Has symptoms of yellowing of the skin and eyes, jaundice, fatigue, fever, abdominal pain, nausea, and loss of appetite. Spread of hepatitis A involves poor sanitation, poor personal hygiene, common bathroom use, contaminated foods and liquids, sexual contact. Hepatitis B virus, HBV, serious disease that can cause lifelong HBV infection, cirrhosis of the liver, liver failure, liver cancer, and death. Some people infected with HBV may not show symptoms. An HBV vaccine is available for disease prevention. Spread of hepatitis B is through saliva, sexual contact, parenteral exposure to blood or blood products, exposure that pierces mucous membrane or the skin barrier. Hepatitis C virus, HCV, progresses slowly. Symptoms include abdominal pain and fatigue. No vaccine is available. Spread of hepatitis C is through parenteral contact, blood transfusion with HCV contaminated blood, illegal drug injections, sexual activity. Hepatitis D virus, HDV, is serious liver disease, not common in the United States, transmitted through contact with infected blood. Vaccine is not available. Hepatitis E virus, HEV, serious liver disease uncommon in the United States, found in the countries with poor sanitation and contaminated water supply. Vaccine is not available. Other viruses and diseases. Human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, HIDS. AIDS-related complex, HRC. Sexually transmitted disease, STD. HIV virus is the virus that causes AIDS. Life-threatening disease that compromises the immune system, passes from person to person through body fluids. A person can be infected with HIV virus for 11 years without having any symptoms and could pass the disease to other people without realizing it. HIV is not transferred through shaking hands, kissing, sneezing or coughing, hugging, sharing household items like telephones or toilet seats. In the barber shop, HIV can enter the body through cuts and sores, by the improperly disinfected shop implements, through hair cutting implements, razors or manicuring implements. Although the HIV virus may lie dormant in an infected personnel's system for 11 years or more, it can also mature into a fatal disease in 2 to 10 years. The stages of HIV AIDS, stage 1 HIV infection, no physical indications of illness, antibodies to the virus may be present. Stage 2 ARC AIDS related complex, chronic fatigue, 
unexplained chills, fever or night sweats, 10% or greater weight loss without dieting. Skin disorders, enlarged liver, enlarged spleen, swollen lymph glands, chronic diarrhea. Stage 3 AIDS includes all of the above symptoms plus hair loss, skin and other cancers, pneumonia and other infections, nerve and brain damage, characteristics of full-blown AIDS. HIV AIDS prevention in the barbershop and salons. Avoid accidents and practice all safety precautions applicable to barbershop, salon or school. Wash hands with an antibacterial soap before and after each client. Sanitize equipment such as headrests, chair backs, armrests and facial, massage and manicure tables before and after client services. Use disposable gloves whenever possible. If you cut, nick or scrape yourself, treat the wound immediately and cover it. If you cut, nick or scrape a client, apply gloves and treat the wound to the extent of your state board allowances and limitations. Avoid exposure and contact with another person's bodily fluids, especially blood. Following this class, microbiology test. Answers would be at the end of the test.